Hey, what's up there? MacBook here. So today I'm just going to make a quick application on the application called Clean My Mac. So it's as well a system main install as uh, my last review I made. Um, so I'm just going to go over the main features and let's get right into it. So first off, when you launch up Clean My Mac, this is the interface. It's a very nice interface, a nice graphic image here which shows um, the stats of clean my Mac you can even tweet the results right now all the stats are to zero because it's uh, I reset it um, the application so first off uh, let's go through all this uh, scanners here so first off you have the cache cleaner which uh, removes all your cache uh, of user cache or system cache iPod photo cache cache um, so you can go ahead and start the scan so you first select what you want to scan for um, and then you can start the scan. So you have the caches with all the caches you can select. Of course, you first need to scan before it's going to show you uh, before it shows you the size. Uh, then you have the user logs and the system log files. Um, so again, you can select all those manually. Language files, which removes all the language files that you don't need of each application. For example, you you got Photoshop, but uh, you've got Japanese, Russian. Um, whatever language pack you have you may not need because you don't even speak the language um, so you might want to remove those universal binaries which are your applications uh, application cutter you can compare that to X slimmer uh, basically compresses well not really compresses but uh, removes space of your application which is unnecessary um, which you don't do not need so now you've got system junk so you can just um, drag it to here and it works great uh, by the way for each little feature here you have a little eye for information which shows you every time all the information of this feature so you can go ahead and click on that if you want more um, explanation on the feature so they've got all the extensions um, applications so you can just drag an app here and you can remove it so um, you can compare this to app cleaner app zapper um, stuff like that so you just drag a few of the application a few of the applications you don't do not need and it will find all the related files to it um, so it's easy to remove them and it's uh, completely removes them because if you just drag the application it won't remove it totally so then you have quick erase where you can just erase files so if I just start the scan here it's gonna start scanning for each individual uh, feature so we'll just wait for this. Uh, while it's scanning, let's go into preferences. So in the preferences in the general, you have um, what you want to enable by default. Um, so you can set that off. For example, you never want to check the caches. Well, you can just unselect that. I mean, that's quite straightforward. Um, then the language translation, uh, the language you want to keep, um, for example, English, because you speak English, while well, you want to keep English probably. Um, then in the advanced, uh, you have enable automatically application uninstaller um, or use secure arrays so what uh, an automatic application uninstaller is is when you drag um, an application to your trash it will automatically start up clean my Mac and will find all the related files uh, you can also use secure arrays to uh, make it more secure it's like a secure empty trash um, then the devices uh, you can select a few options here again and the updates if you wanted to update um, your check for updates daily for example or check now um, so it's gonna check for updates and you've got a few different other um, preferences there so right here you just finished scanning uh, didn't took that long uh, I think it took about seven minutes five minutes um, not really that long um, so first off if you go on my Mac it shows how much um, unnecessary size or uh, files it found um, so in my case roughly 5.5 uh, gigabytes um, so which is quite a lot actually I mean you can do quite a lot in with 5.5 gigabytes um, you can install games and stuff and a ton of other applications uh, if you're running out of space so for each individual uh, feature here it will show you how much it found um, so you can go ahead and select manually each one you don't want for example there is um, an application you really don't want to remove the caches for example uh, boom you can just unselect it and it won't remove it um, so same for the logs language files for each application you can select um, what you don't want and then exactly the language 
uh, it will show you all the languages which include which is included in that application and for example you don't want Portuguese so boom you can remove it really simple um, universal binaries it's all the same I mean it's all manual so you can go ahead and um, select that manually if you want to so for the extensions you have the widgets and the startup items um, so you've got a few things here but uh, you can go ahead and select that manually so um, you've got widgets preferences and plugins um, so if you want to remove it it's really simple uh, you can just go ahead and click on the little uh, lock it will ask you for your password so go ahead and insert your password and then you'll be able to remove it uh, you'll see it will be unlocked um, so right here if I just click on remove it will remove um, all the selected items I don't want um, so few other things here for the application and the quick erase I'm just going to show you how that works um, so I'm just going to go in my application folder which I have right here um, so for example I do not want an application so I'm going to take an example of on ADM here um, so you just simply drag the apps here and it will uh, think what and it will search for all the related files so for example you got the actual application you got the list file uh, you got application support and the grow um, preferences so it's really a great application uh, to remove apps as well so for example if your uh, clean my Mac is not yet uh, started up you can si simply drag the application to the to your trash and it will automatically go ahead and do that in um, clean my Mac as well and as you see it added ADM again because I've put it into trash and boom it's gonna put all that stuff into trash uh, which is really easy to do so that's it for the applications uh, quite easy um, it's like all the other app cleaners, app zappers, app deleters, whatever and uh, for the quick erase you just simply drag it it's exactly the same um, so yep that's quite simple the quick arrays and the applications so I just went over through the main features of clean my Mac um, hope you find this review helpful uh, if you have any questions be sure to leave me uh, a comment you can also go ahead and send me an email to contact at m4cbook.com or if you're uh, YouTube question related YouTube at m4cbook.com um, so how much is this uh, you can get a free copy free trial um, so you can try it for free there's no time limit. Uh, if you want to buy it, uh, you'll get um, a free upgrade to the new version, which is coming relatively soon, which is the version 2.0. Um, so if you just want a single license for six months, it's $15, uh, which is roughly about 12 or 11 euros. Um, and you can also have Clean My Mac Lifetime and Mac Hider for Lifetime, all that in for $40. Um, so just clean my Mac um, is thirty twenty nine ninety five thirty bucks about. Um, so that's it for the prices. You can just go ahead and go to their store. It's by a company called Mac Paul. Paul, I think you pronounce it like that. Uh, so you, I'll leave the their link in the description so you can go ahead and check out their website for more information about the applications. So that's it for my review. Uh, thanks for watching. Again, I hope you find this useful. Uh, be sure to subscribe comment if you have any questions be sure to like this video rate this video um, thanks for watching again peace